telling you, it was like a Russian novel. Long, hard, and forever to finish. Julie must have been thrilled. Can you say, go Bronco, go? I'll stick with Mother Nature's own, thank you. See that guy over there? What is he, 45, 50? How much you want to bet that seat's safe for some 25-year-old? Oh, and you can tell that he's popping vitamin V just by looking. Everybody is, man. Look, I don't want my good buddy to be the last guy on the train to... What, go Bronco, go? Exactly. I don't like doctors. I don't like popping pills. Oh, my God, hey, somebody got a doctor. His name was Gideon Blake. Business card puts his office out in Brooklyn. So what, did he have a heart attack? I haven't talked to the ME. All I know is he had a reservation for two at one o'clock. So where's the companion? A no-show. Welcome to the case of the killer shellfish. One oyster, dropped like that. Since when do we become the food police? Take a smell. We know what oysters smell like, Cantor. I mean of him. It's like bitter almonds. Which aren't on the menu. That's cyanide, right? This dude's been poisoned? Get these to forensics, but the smell test tells me they're clean. So he picked a winner on the first try? Either that, or the poison's in here. Devil's own hot sauce. Excuse me. You use a lot of this? Devil's own? We don't stock it at all. You know, I got to tell you, though, a lot of guys, they bring in their own hot sauce. It's sort of like women and their water bottles, like a status thing. Please tell me it wasn't the oysters. Yeah, we'll let you know. Sorry, detective, but that diner companion you was asking about, she's here. She says she's a doctor. Tell her she's too late. No, no, we were colleagues. Actually, it was supposed to be a working lunch. I was interviewing him. Mr. Blake was a doctor, too? No. Gideon wasn't a physician. He, he practiced an alternative kind of healing. You mean like acupuncture? No, he made people feel better emotionally, especially those who had recently suffered losses. Oh, oh, like a grief counselor. Something like that, yes. Uh, you know what, Dr. Allison? I don't mean to be rude here, but you're not being very helpful. Well, because I know how you're going to respond to this. Well, why don't you try us out? Well, he held seminars, um, seances. He talked to the dead? Just a guess, but uh, he didn't do it for nothing, did he? Well, why would he? He helped people who were hurting. But you're a real doctor, right? Yes, I am. I'm an oncologist with a specialty in pediatrics. And you believe in seances? I'm not so quick to judge them. Medical journals are filled with cases of near-death experiences. And who is to say that there's no truth in them? You didn't go to medical school in Haiti, did you? No, Cambridge, Mass. And you can read all about me, if you like, on the dust covers of any one of my three bestsellers. Good news is, no one named Gideon Blake ever had so much as a parking ticket. And the bad news? No one named Gideon Blake ever had so much as a parking ticket. Expand to the tri-state area. You already did. No criminal record anywhere. A national internet search using every variation of the name also came up empty. He paid rent, didn't he? He had to have a bank account. Ed and Lenny are running the financials now. Ben Buren. No, I'll take it. Put him through. Are you kidding? Fax it to me, ASAP. Your man's still a ghost? If he was still alive, I'd hire him to talk to himself. Well, this may help. His prints match the guy the feds have been looking for for over a year, name of Lee Wayne Mapes. Oh, yeah, Mapes. Real estate fraud with a capital F. What'd he do? You seen that play, The Producers? Not on what the city pays us. Anyway, it's about these guys that sell a 1,000% of a Broadway show. They make a killing unless the play's a hit, in which case they've got to pay back their investors with money they don't have. That's what Mapes did with the buildings? Buildings, shopping centers, hotels, all around the country, always targeting doctors. Go where the money is. Well, they got it, but don't understand what to do with it. The only difference between Mapes and the Broadway guys is that his castle crumbled when the real estate market fell. And boy, did it fall. Well, like a latka, but Mapes has gone with the wind. Well, the good news is we found him. The bad news is he's dead. Hey, it's all good news for me. I get to close the book on him. We're thinking that one of his unhappy investors put him out of his misery. Sure. I'll get you the files. It looks like half the AMA invested. You'd think a brain surgeon would know better. I'll see your brain surgeon and raise you two allergists and a pediatrician. I gotta admit, Mapes must have been good. There's some heavy hitters in here. An oncologist, 
Oh, I got a couple of those. You got one named Allison? As in Dr. Allison or Mr. Lunch Day with Gideon Blake? She invested in a shopping center in Flagstaff, Arizona. Lost half a million dollars. Now that can make somebody mad enough to kill. So, were you able to find out anything about Gideon? Yes. Actually, we found out his real name is Lee Wayne Mapes. What are you talking about? Gideon Blake was a real estate swindler named Mapes. I don't believe that. Well, you better start, because he's the one that took half a million dollars from you and your husband. Are you kidding me? Look, that whole real estate transaction was done on paper, with lawyers and accountants and professionals who do that sort of thing. I didn't understand one word about it, and my husband and I just signed what they told us to. On the bottom of the check. And that was it. I never met the principals. I don't even think I ever heard their names. All I knew was Flag Two Partners Limited. Wait a minute. You think I killed Gideon because he stole money from me in some other persona? Well, you've got to admit that you showing up at Gideon Center right after he ripped you off is quite a coincidence. Does it really take a platoon to search my small apartment? Well, it won't take long. I'm telling you, you're wasting your time. Oh, I've made a career out of that. <laughs> fig tree has been around for 6,000 years. The Romans said Bacchus gave mankind the fig. I'm trying to protect this one from being damaged by an early frost. The people who lived here before me hardly did anything to take care of it at all. Yeah, I had a flower pot out on my fire escape, but the bugs destroyed anything I put in it. Squirrels are the problem here. Just won't stay away from the figs, especially this time of year. Nothing a little rat poison wouldn't cure. Oh, no, you have to be very careful. Pesticides can harm a tree. Hey, Lenny. It's clean. Could have saved you the trouble. Sorry about this, Dr. Allison. You have a job to do. Uh, good luck with the squirrels. Thank you. Come on, just dump it. No, if I called this in on a citizen, it would be a hundred dollar fine. Yeah, but then you'd have to go to court, waste the whole day. Damn, even her garbage is organized. Yeah, unless you're a rodent. That's nasty. Stop. Well, from comparative blood tests, chemoanalysis of muscle tissues, and urinalysis, both victims died from the same cause. Which was? Cyanide poisoning. Potassium cyanide, to be precise. I didn't know they were different flavors. Oh, sure. There's hydrogen cyanide, sodium cyanide, potassium cyanide. Yeah, we get the picture. The good news is the end came quickly for both Blake and Rocky the Squirrel. How can you tell? A large blood concentration would cause immediate loss of consciousness, followed quickly by death. If you gotta go, it's not a bad way. She took the cyanide from the lab, spiked Blake's hot sauce, then dumped it into her garden to protect her fig tree from squirrels. And she knew he was going to use the hot sauce for lunch. Her blood showed that on the day of the murder, she called Gideon's cell phone, and then she called the restaurant to make a reservation. Well, if it was all about the money, why did she wait a year to kill him? Revenge is a meal best served cold. Yeah, especially if you got the hot sauce to cover up the stink. Pick her up. I've got my rounds to do, so this really needs to be quick. OK. Bethany Rose Allison, you're under arrest for the murder of Gideon Blake. Is that quick enough for you, Doc? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be. 